Hello hobby heads, this is Glenn here from Metro Hobbies. One of my personal favourites is the Gunsy range of paints, also known as Mr Hobby. A great range, it can be a bit of a minefield if you're getting into model making and you want to start painting, but this is great paint. So guys, without further ado, let's get going on showing the entire great range. Now, if you are new into model making, uh, we all highly recommend using a primer. A primer basically goes on the kit first before any paint layer goes on. This helps the paint stick to the model. So whatever you're, you're painting with, no matter if it's a lacquer base or if it's acrylic base or whatever you want to use, enamel base, it helps the paint stick. So this is extremely important. It also equalizes the entire model. So if you're using other type of parts, such as photo rich parts or resin parts, which have different color tones, this will equalize the entire kit make it one color so whatever you put onto it will be all uniformed and for example if you're getting like i said if you're getting new into model making we want to try these new aqueous based range of paints okay um, of, of primers sorry these ones are kind of the best type i guess if you're getting into that field they are kind of less toxic than your lacquer based paints and they have a good range so you've got your, your black your grays your whites and so on and so forth and you can like i said you can equalize the model and then you can add your paint to that if you want to take the next level and you want to advance again with with other primers i'd say then go and use the lacquer based primers these are quite toxic so like i said before you need to have um good ventilation okay but they are excellent and they just require a few minutes to shake and then spray on your model. Again, it will equalize the kit, whatever you're building, and then you can add your paint onto that and so forth. Just be, just be mindful though, is that when you do use, uh, especially if you use the uh, water-based uh, water type paint or these aqueous type thin um, primers, just make sure that um, you give the, uh, the can a good shake for about five minutes and then spray in light coats. Not heavy coats, just a few light coats at a time. With our range of thinners, we have the Rapid Thinner here, which is the larger bottle on this side. This one dries within minutes, I believe uh, up to about a minute, or between a minute and two minutes, it would give you a, the quickest finish, and it can be used on, on all their range of paints. We have the very popular uh, Leveling Thinner, one with the yellow and blue bottle. This one is great for using it with their lacquer range of paints. It will dry with an even and smooth surface. So if you, like I said, if you're into model making, uh, if you're just new into model making, this one is the way to go. This is their general lacquer thinners. Okay, it's, it's simple, but it's designed specifically to use with their lacquer uh, based paints, but it does uh, tend to dry quicker. So I would say use their uh, leveling thinner as their main source. And then of course the aqueous range designed specifically for the aqueous range of colors okay which is one again with the sort of aqua color bottle great for using that and also it's less toxic so great for indoors um, if you're like i said if you're new to the hobby and you're kind of a young guy this is where you should start so guys if you don't have an airbrush or you don't want to paint a hand paint but you want to get a great effect you can use Mr. Hobby's great range of Gundam colors. If you're into building Gundams, okay, guys, you can get this right out of the, out of the can. They do match the Bandai plastic parts. Just a quick shake and then spray along. A few light coats will give you a fantastic and smooth finish. So if you want to avoid doing any hand painting or airbrushing without going too far and spending, spending more money than you need to spend, then please, they're excellent for that. Great stuff. Now GX is Mr. Hobby's premier range of paints. They have the best range with the best quality pigments. So um, if you're building any kind of um, sci-fi kit or any Gundam kit or, or anything really, um, uh, armor or aircraft, they make a really good range with the larger bottle than, than their standard size bottle, okay? They make a great range of colors which work excellent with their Rapid or their Mr. Leveling Thinners. Now, these are the highest quality that Mr. Hobby make, okay? So if you really want to get the best results, don't skip on the GX range of paints. They are excellent, and the best way to use this, of course, is with through your airbrush. Mr. Hobby's base range of colors that are basically water-based colors are the Equius range. They make a great range of colors. They make uh, metallics. They will make, they make clear coats translucent colors they make colors for all types of models including aircraft armor ships 
even Gundam ranges now and so and so forth. They make a great range. And the thing is, uh, they're quite safe. They don't smell like Mr. Hobby color. They, they just are great to work with. And to thin them down for airbrushing, just use their range of uh, Acris Cup color thinner right here and you'll have no problem with that. Again, if you're a beginning modeler, I would say, and you want to get into airbrushing, I would say start with this range because it's a lot better to start with this. It's also very forgiving. So if you do make a few errors, it's just a light sand back and you can spray over it again. It goes on really, really well. Mr. Hobby's general most popular paint is their lacquer base paint here. Okay, you can tell with the dark blue label. They make a great range and absolutely fantastic paints to work with. Again, if you're into model making or if you start making models, okay, not recommended to use these with a brush, but use these if you're a little bit more experienced with an airbrush and with a course, they're leveling thinner or they're rapid thinner. They go on excellent. They take about an hour or two to dry on a nice warm sunny day. If it's a cold day, they might take up to a couple of hours to do so, but they are excellent. Mr. Hobby also make an excellent range of metallic shades, okay? Uh, they make a buffable type, which is this type, and they make a non-buffable type, which is this one over here. You can tell by the two, SM, and this one is MC. So the SM range is best used with thinners, okay? Actually, they're both best used with thinners, but use Mr. Leveling Thinner. And I would recommend that you use a 60-40%, which is 60% thinner and 40% paint. Do a few light coats, wait for about 30 minutes to say an hour, and then do buffeting with that. You can use a cloth or a cotton bud, and it works wonders. These guys are excellent as well. Again, use Mr. Hobby Leveling Thinners, and you will get the best results. With these two paints, Mr. Color and Mr. Acreous, just be mindful. These guys here, Mr. Acreous, is a standard color paint, okay? And it goes on quite well. But if, you, if your models get handed a lot, if you're doing like, um, uh, aircraft or tanks where you're going to be picking them up and putting them down and so forth. Mr. Color is a lot more resilient to wear and tear. Okay, so it goes on, it goes on quite solid. Um, also, a bit, of, a bit of advice too, when, you're do, when, when you do add Mr. Acreous, please use a bit of a, 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 a clear coat, such as a, a, a gloss coat or a semi-gloss coat, to protect them from getting scratched. However, Using Mr. Color will give you a better finish at the end with a lot more resilient wear and tear. So there we go, guys. The great range of Mr. Hobby, also known as Gundy, to us modelers out there. Yes, it's a Japanese-made product. It's fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I love the stuff. So please, guys, if you're ever in Box Hill, come and see me. You know my name is Glenn. And uh, if you're CBD, you can also drop into our CBD store um, or shop online. But there you go. It's a great range. You will... Enjoy the range of paints. Believe me, it is great stuff to start off with. And even if you're just new to model making, this is where you should start. So guys, until next time, stay safe.